Subscription-based businesses are extremely important. Here's why. The hardest part of business and sales and marketing is getting clients. Without having clients, your business is absolutely nothing. What a subscription-based business does is that it allows you to keep those clients while bringing new ones on, eventually causing a compounding effect with your clients. So you're an entrepreneur wanting to start a subscription-based business. Here's a few different ideas you can use to help you get started. The number one idea you can use for a subscription-based business is starting a men or women's beauty product business. What you could do is go ahead and have things like skincare products for women, cologne for men, different types of beauty accessories, and basically put them into small portions and mail out new ones on a subscription base. What this does is allow your clients to try different products. Number two, and I actually use this all the time, is a meal prep delivery service. If you love to cook or you know a lot about nutrition, people pay a lot of money to have their meals made for them. For me example, I pay someone to make all my food during the week because I don't have time nor do I know how to cook good to make those meals. So if you enjoy cooking food from the comfort of your home, being able to prep it up in containers and then send it out to people, this has been a very successful business and you could start by just doing a local. Number three is a pet subscription business. What you could do is box up and send out different pet toys to your clients. And we all know that pets go through their toys and treats pretty often. So it would be nice knowing that every month that customer has a shipment coming in of a different type of dog treat or cat toy or whatever it is. Number four is gonna be pretty generic, but it is personal development training courses. So I'm sure you've seen it all over the internet, people selling courses and training products and things like that. What you could do is set that up on a monthly basis. And if you have a sales team, then training them consistently rather than paying one price for a course would be much more effective if they were getting new types of material every single month. So if you're knowledgeable in a certain area, this would be a great product to go ahead and create, whether it's sales training or any type of personal development that makes your client wanting to keep getting more information every month or subscribe to it. Number five, and I thought this was kind of an interesting one that would be pretty cool. I haven't seen it done before, but plant or flower subscription. You could basically reach out to gardeners or farmers or kind of curate a menu towards them that would align with setting up deliveries every month or week of different types of seeds and plants that you could offer them and kind of align that with how they want their garden or farms to kind of turn out. Number six, and this is kind of like the food prep one, but coffee and tea subscription based business. What you could do is offer coffee or teas from around the world, and this gives people the ability to try different stuff without having to buy a big bulk amount of something they may not even like. If you have access to getting different types of coffees or teas, then this could be another great business idea. Number seven is a clothing and accessory business model. So kind of like the previous idea where people would rent suits or different clothes for a certain event, there's people out there that like to keep up on certain trends. So if you had a subscription-based model where you send different types of clothing to that certain client that fits their needs. They can keep up on the latest trends and get to keep all of their clothing. Number eight is a digital newsletter or magazine type of business model, basically where you have information to current trending things in the world or news platform with a specific niche industry that has access to exclusive content. So if you or you know someone is highly advanced in a certain industry, people would pay an extra to be subscribed to that if they got the information before it was released to the public. Number nine is going to be fitness. So whether that's a gym or a biking class or yoga, host an event or own a gym where people have to pay a monthly subscription and deliver them with some type of value and how your gym or fitness meetup every month will benefit their life. The reason memberships work so good on gyms is because customers don't feel obligated to have to stay. It would be much harder to pay a one-time fee for the gym, even if it was cheaper than it would be just to pay monthly throughout the year. Subscription-based models don't give you the commitment and that's why they work so well. Number 10, I don't wanna say it, but I have to put it on here, is adult creator content platforms. You've seen people have so much success with OnlyFans. I don't know why it works so well, but for some reason it does. So if that's your thing, look into creating a subscription-based business off of that. Number 11 is going to be a language learning subscription. Basically, you're going to start some type of online language school where people will pay a monthly subscription to a those classes.
classes to go ahead and learn a different language. Number 12 is book subscriptions. What you could do is curate and deliver a special selection of books that offer different themes and genres to cater to that specific person. Number 13 is a sustainable living subscription. So you could offer different products that promote eco-friendly living and can offer different type of reusable household items. You'd have to get pretty creative with this one, but if you are in that type of space, then this could be another good subscription-based idea. Number 14 is a vegan-based subscription. So kind of like the food prep one, but you could cater this toward vegan-only options. So someone who's starting out going vegan, this is a totally new world to them. So you could offer different types of meals, and snacks and, and treats and kind of give them the whole variety of what a vegan diet looks like. Number 15 is a streaming service. So if you are big into gaming or hosting a virtual event, you could have people pay you monthly for you to stream those events. Now you could divide this up into two categories where you have free viewers, but you also have your dedicated viewers that have been with you since day one. And maybe you give them access to some more exclusive content. Number 16 is home cleaning and maid services. So this is another popular one that people will pay a lot for, especially if you have a really busy schedule. So if you enjoy cleaning, I know a ton of people that are making a very good living having a cleaning business. Number 17, I'm going to leave pretty open, but you could basically have a subscription base, whether it's around stock photography, stock video, as well as combine it all into an editing type of software. So we see things like with the Canva or Adobe. So if you can offer something in the creative space, try and figure out a way to set it up into a subscription based model. Subscription based models have become super, super popular and there's such a low cost of entry for clients. It is the best way to get new clients. People are scared of commitment, and that's why I picked rental business for the one idea and subscription based for this video idea. The cost of ownership is scary for people, that's why renting makes sense. And the high cost to own something without knowing if you like it or not is why subscriptions make sense. And if you did enjoy this video, hit that like button, it really helps me out on YouTube. And check out this video right here if you wanna see 25 of the best business rental ideas.